What's going on guys? It's your boy Sensei Chatter to you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining the fastest way to rep up in NBA 2K22. Now, as you guys do know, the rep system this year is a little bit different than all of the other years, meaning that you actually have to hit level 40 four different times okay so there is actually i believe there's nine seasons in nba 2k22 um and then you actually have to hit level 40 out of those four times okay so it's pretty simple to do um i'm going to be going ahead and showing you guys the fastest way to do it um you know legitimately so the first way guys to do this is to make okay so the first there's actually a few things a few things that you can have to do the first thing that you need to do is make a big man okay you can make a big man um make him about seven foot six nine um and then make him a glass lock or just a maximum defensive build okay the reason why i say this is because if you make a big man you're going to be able to grab a lot of rebounds and you're going to be getting a good grade um, at the end of each game just from the rebounds okay so you're gonna be able to grab rebounds kick out and um pretty much kick out for the assist and that's gonna get your that's gonna get your rep up really really high very fast okay so um so that's the first method the second part that you could do guys is you can make any defensive build preferably like i said a big man or if not a big man if you don't want to be so slow make a two-way finisher make a two-way finisher you get 30 defensive badges you're going to be able to have like a 90 something like an 88 90 rebound and you're going to be able to have a lot of finishing badges as well okay so you're going to be getting a lot of rep from finishing so you could do that and um you can really run wreck guys you can run wreck um now if you do decide to run wreck guys make sure that you are playing big you want to play big that way you can grab as much rebounds as possible and you're going to want to just try to get your grade okay win or lose you're going to you just want to grab an a plus at the end of every game okay if you could do that if you can get an a plus at the end of every game guys win or lose so if you lose with a plus that's equivalent to winning with like a b plus okay so getting an A plus after every game or during every game is crucial for your rep, okay? So now do take in mind guys, you can also throw lobs. Lobs give a lot of rep this year. So um, not lob, not throw lobs, but you're gonna try to catch lobs. So uh, you know, just tell, your, tell whoever you're playing with just to throw you a bunch of lobs. Uh, it works really, really good if you're a finisher. Um, if you can manage to catch majority of the lobs guys you're going to be getting a lot of finishing badges and you're going to be getting a lot of rep okay so catching catching lobs is definitely a big big deal um especially when it comes to getting a lot of rep okay because i don't know what it is about it this year but grabbing lobs man and just slamming it down just for some reason it just gives more rep um if you are um if you're grinding for your rep specifically okay um so that's two things you can do play big man and or play two-way finisher so those two builds right there are probably the best builds to get rep okay um another now besides playing with builds guys there's another way to actually get a lot of reps so um you want to make sure that you do chase the double rep okay so right now currently um while this video is dropping it's actually uh, triple rep for defensive players so you know like i said if you're if you're a two-way finisher guys you're getting triple rep if you're a two-way finisher if you're a glass clean and lockdown any perimeter lockdown any type of defensive build right now is going to be triple rep you're going to be getting triple the rep that anyone else is getting okay now that is only for park that's not for rec if it was for rec trust me i would be in rec but when it's no double rep at all guys you want to make sure that you do stay in rec as a big man you're going to be getting so much rep you could, it's so, first of all it's so much easier to get an a plus second of all you don't have to worry about your win percent okay now if you don't want to play rec guys i would definitely highly recommend trying to go ahead and oh my god that don't trying to go ahead and play pro-am okay it doesn't really matter in pro-am if you win or lose as long as you try to get your grade okay you can focus on alley oops and getting your a pluses in there um now that is definitely my suggestion okay now guys i'm already level 34 i'm already almost i think i'm like 70 to 80 percent to level 30 five and guys it moves kind of slow but i mean with the triple rep i'm getting like three percent per a plus uh with a win in park okay that's with the triple rep okay so you're going to be getting about one to two percent uh without triple rep if you're not a big man or whatever so um with triple rep and if you make a big man and get an a plus guys you're going to be getting like four percent every game and that's what i've been grabbing that's probably what i've been grabbing like every single game i try my best you see right now i have an a minus I do try to keep a decent grade, guys, at all times. 
Um, I don't care too much about scoring. Badges will come over time. If anything, I can always go to my career, guys. So just make sure that you're trying to catch lobs and that you're trying to get an A-plus grade. That should be your priority. Um, and just try to win as much games. So just a quick recap, guys. Make a big man. Try to catch oops and try to get a good grade, okay? Um, now, do chase the double and triple rep. Uh, you want to make sure that you do use the uh, XP coins to your advantage. You're going to make sure uh, that you are activating those because that's going to give you a lot of rep as well. So in between, so you want to want to make sure to manage the double XP coins. So let's say uh, it's double rep right now. You're not going to want to use the XP coin. You wanna, you're actually going to want to wait until the double XP is over with. Then use your double XP coins and that way you're going to be getting double rep pretty much at all times. Okay, so that's definitely what you want to do. I think I actually had six uh, double XP coins um, lined up and I'm pretty much scattering them out in between double XP events and guys I'm not gonna lie I'm getting a lot of rep like that okay so that's pretty much a fast and efficient way to get rep now you can also run twos and stick it up guys but twos is kind of it's kind of like you know make it take it and you're not gonna you're not hundred percent sure that you're gonna win each game you gotta get lucky to really go on the street so guys to be honest I honestly would just prefer to go ahead and just follow the method that I taught you guys and I'm gonna be dropping a few more videos on how to get badges the best badges to get for each build the best shooting badges best dribble style pretty much everything I got videos dropping for you guys I got a lot of videos lined up but guys do make sure to hit that like button and, and subscribe if this video did help you guys okay if it didn't make sure to still hit that like button and subscribe I got a lot of videos dropping for you guys much love to you guys I'll catch you guys in the next video with that being said Sensei Chad signing out peace